So, I'm going to do a little video about one of my pet hates. These little things are your valve caps for your tyre valve. So this is what it should look like. This is how they come when they're brand new. So they are a little rubber valve, or rubber coated brass valve, I should say, uh, that come with a perfectly adequate plastic cap. Now, when you take a brass valve like that, and you add one of these cheap little natty valve covers made of aluminium, you might think, oh, that looks lovely, especially against, you know, maybe a chrome wheel trim or a nice alloy wheel. Don't do it. Don't be that. Um, you've got two dissimilar metals here. You've got brass and you've got aluminium. You put those two together, you apply water in the outside world and even salt if you're in the UK or other air countries that salt the roads in winter. And what happens is you get galvanic corrosion between these two materials, which means when you need to top your tyre up, which is usually quite an important activity, you usually do it because your tyre is low on air, thus a safety risk, those two have welded themselves together with galvanic corrosion. And then when you try and turn this, all it does is rotate this in the wheel and eventually break the seal and the tyre goes completely flat. Your solution at that point is to go to a garage and have an entirely new one fitted, which is ridiculous. So the moral of the story is don't fit these crappy little things because they're a waste of money and they're going to ruin your car. They're also a safety risk. So to prove this, I'm going to take two perfectly good brand new tyre valves and I'm going to wet them. I'm going to leave them outside in the weather for a couple of months and see what happens to show you how these get stuck together. And this is going to be my test unit. So this is a perfectly original one, as you can see. And that is another perfect original one, but with a crappy aluminium cap on it. OK, so first things first, I'm going to make sure there's a bit of moisture inside here to maybe speed the exercise up a little. And you can actually already see I've screwed the aluminium one on and off a few times and already it's leaving uh, aluminium oxide residue on there. So that's a starter of things to come. So we're going to put a little bit of moisture on these. Give them a nice good soak. So they're soaked. Uh, and yes, that is soapy water. I do occasionally wash things up at the workshop, believe it or not. So a bit of moisture in there. Caps back on. Let's go and stick them somewhere safe. This is going to be a long long exercise so uh here they are in a dark damp corner of the yard um i will recognize where this is when it comes to finding them but this little video really mainly is for me to be able to remember where to go and look for them down the side of a very green volvo <laughs> Okay, so I'm picking up from the experiment. We put these outside on the 10th of January this year, and we're now on the 30th of March. So it's about 10 weeks this has been outside. So let's have a look at this one. Look at that, valve cap comes off nicely. Uh, that looks pretty much like new. Okay, so now we come to the brass valve with the aluminium cap on. And I can confirm that is absolutely solid. There is no way that is coming off. In fact, you can just about see the corrosion starting under there. So that, my friends, is stuck for so 10 weeks. Um, and that is stuck solid. I suspect it was probably stuck a lot quicker than that. Let's see if we can get this valve cap off. Oh, it is moving. Oh, look at that. There is no way you'd have done that the other way around without a vice. And that is the result of 10 weeks of galvanic corrosion. That is ruined. So that's what you do. If you put these little aluminium valve caps on, you're basically writing off your tyre valve. What a waste of time. Don't do it. That goes right through you. That's not an excuse not to use these things. I don't know what is.